This World War I ship found in Texas almost broke the internet. Low water levels in the Natchez River near Beaumont last week revealed the remains of a massive wooden cargo ship built during World War I, echoing an era when the shipyards of Upper Texas coast proved vital to the nation's defense industry. Nearly 300 feet long, the ship has been sitting on the bottom of the river for close to a century, all but forgotten until an unusual social media challenge. Noticing how low the river had grown, the owner of the Ice House Museum in Stillsby began wondering what might lie just below the waterline. One person came back with a gnarly looking paddle of uncertain provenance. Someone else found a raft of branded logs, which in the mid 1800s were floated down the Natchez to Beaumont. The logs were branded so the timber companies knew who to pay for the wood. But it was a local who knows every crook of that river who hit the archaeological jackpot. The boat found is one of nearly 40 vessels now resting at the bottom of the Sabine and the Natchez River that were originally commissioned by the U.S. Shipping Board circa 1917-1918 as part of the Emergency Fleet Corporation. The plan was for these ships to help stabilize the economy by replacing the many merchant ships lost to the German U-boats, but the war ended before a need arose for these particular boats. The government tried converting some into barges and selling others for scrap, but the ones like the one found were eventually abandoned.